Oh, I think talking. Scooter so dropped. That, that's why I've been. Yeah, he did. So Brent, that, oh, that was did? the thing. Like, I would be, I would be fine if they would like say they're, I don't know, like uh, a moral objectivist or realist, but they're saying that they're like not assuming like uh, objective moral codes or or realism. But then also saying that. Right okay, now. so no, no, that's I, done. I, I, well, no, 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 I need I to get. Say, no, hold on. No, I did say that I believed in moral realism. Then, I did say that. Oh, okay. So then it was just Scooter well, that was saying that. No, no, yeah. I, I just, I just, I just, <laughs> I just want. He sent it. I just wanted to point out, like when when Scooter, because moral realists, they're ass, they're assuming, uh, right? Well, they believe that there is a fact of the matter about what you ought do that's going to be independent of what you value, desire, believe. So when Scooter asked the question, right, well, if morality is subjective, how do we know who's correct, right? That assumes realism in that question. He's exactly. assuming there's a fact of the matter. That's the issue with that question. It's... Hold on, he's back, you guys. M Mendoza, can you ask that Greek guy to send me fifty dollars? So no, I can have philosophy no. Hello. Excuse me, no. Yo. He he no. wanted me to go to Stanford. Yeah. Do you, do, do you want to know where I came from with that or no? Came from with or no. what? Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. Yeah, when it comes to subjectivity within morality. Well, can can you grant that that question just begs the question when it comes to realism? Yeah, we're, we're when we're talking about realism, we're providing a sense of like human nature. But um, you can you can separate morality within human nature and just apply it with individual choice. Even though when it comes to individual choice, it can be subjective with value. There's still objective truths within morality itself. So. What I'm asking is if you are making the claim, like Tanner did, that morality is subjective, how do we know that which subjectivity moral is, not is going to... Hold on. Yes, when it comes to morals, and it's subjective, how can we apply this within a society where all human norms should be abided by? That's the key Wait, question. Wait, all human norms should be abided by? So you think if subjectivism is true, everybody has to follow everybody's norms? You think that follows? It, when it comes to subjectivity within morals, right? Yeah, what's, I'm, I'm not even you, sure what you you're claiming here. morals and need. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be clear here. When it comes to norms, societal norms, you can have your own sub, like subjective opinion or your own subjective beliefs however when it comes to human nature that might not align like when men essay women that's their morals they had bad morals correct i would agree with that yeah I, I would call that bad you i agree? think that yeah so, i think there's so a delay comes, so yeah, yeah so when it comes to their morals why are they not correct well correct in an objective or subjective sense yeah, in the in objective sense. I'm yeah, that, that, that yeah, that essay. assumes realism, right? You're just begging the question. Bro, when it comes to take realism out of the picture, <laughs> can you, well, you can can't. you provide me one subject can you provide me one subjective experience to where one individual within their own morals justifies SA and it's justified? What do you mean justifies? Society? What do you mean justifies? Justify as in morally permissible or and in societally permissible in an objective accepted. or a subjective sense. Yes, objective in any. You're assuming realism again. Do you not see that you keep doing that? What do you think realism is? Yeah, that there is uh, moral facts, right? Things that we ought do, right? Independent of what we value, desire, or believe. Independent of our minds, right? That's moral realism. How do you draw the conclusion of what we ought to do? Are you asking for my view, like, what I take that to mean? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so when I say, like, I ought do something, I'm just saying I have internal reasons for doing that thing, right? So that's going to be, like, if I desire X, then I ought do Y. It's all descriptive in my view. Right, so you still believe there's, like, an at least at the very least, an is ought gap or something like that. You know? Yeah, I think so we, can, we can just go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so, so this whole conversation is like circulating around rights. I feel like. And what what do we take a right to be? Because we're going to have different senses of rights. I, I'm assuming. 
Oh, yeah, God. dude, that doesn't matter, Brandon. You have no clue what you're talking about. I'm gonna. Yeah, be okay. I don't. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Can you? Oh, yeah, uh, no, no, no. You said you're a philosophy major. I have a great question. I have a great question. Brandon, tell me, tell me the logical perfect. form of modus ponens, without googling it. Go. Modus ponens when po we're talking about philosophy. Yeah, what is I'm modus ponens? Not a philosophy sense. Yeah, what's modus ponens? Yeah, modus ponens is. There, there's two terms. There's modus ponens and there's modus tonus. Okay. So Close. we're going to talk about. Yeah. So what's modus ponens? Q equal P. Then yes, or Q equal P and then P equal Q. But if we're going to be clear here, what? What we're talking about what? is human rights. So, are you ready? Wait. Modus ponens is if P then Q. P therefore Q. Right. If P then Q equal P or if P, if P equal Q if P then Q then Q. <laughs> Opposite. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Do you agree? Do you no. agree? Was I incorrect? Yes, you were. It's Was I if, incorrect? Yeah, it's if P, then Q, P, therefore Q. That's if modus ponens. If P, then Q, then Q, or P, then Q, then P. Correct? <laughs> That's not modus ponens. What? <laughs> what? Where am I incorrect? I just told you. Modus ponens is just if P, then Q, P, therefore Q. First premise is if P, if then Q. P, then Q, P, bro, if P, then Q, P, <laughs> then equal Q. There you go. Where That's better. There you go. No, no, no. You said it right that time. Good job. I, I've said that. I said this three times. If P then Q, P then Q. Okay. No, it's fine. I just, uh, I just wanted to ask the where, philosophy where major. Where was I incorrect? Where was I incorrect? Yeah, the first time you formalized it, right? It wasn't if P then Q, <laughs> if, if P, P therefore Q. Q. It wasn't. It wasn't that. If, if P, if P is more than Q, P equals Q. Correct? If P is more than Q, what does that mean? You're just saying if stuff. If P is Q, P is Q. If P is Q, then P is Q. That just sounds like a tautology. <laughs> you already Yo, said Mendoza, wait, real quick, Mendoza, I'm going to hop off. Thanks for having me on. I Brandon's way better at philosophy than me, so he'll probably be able to explain this better, so I'm just going to hop off. Bro, oh, have Brandon. A yeah, you too. Brandon. Bye, Tanner. Was I correct or was I incorrect? You still have powers, by the way. No, you got it right one was time. Was you got it right one time, but I don't know about the oh, other times. What did I say that was correct? What did I say that was correct? Go ahead. That was correct or incorrect? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Uh, the one do, time that you said that, if P... Correctly. Am I stuttering? Hold on. Am I stuttering? No, I don't think so, right? I just think you formalized okay, it wrong the first time, time, and then you said something like, if I've P said, more I've than Q. I don't know what that means. I have said the same thing four times, so go ahead. Mendoza, I sent another 50. Go ahead, Brandon. Go I, ahead. I saw. Well, I just, I really. Make me wait around. I just, like, I just wanted to come up here to clear up that one question because when, when you ask, when you're asking yeah, sure. Tanner, yeah, because I got, I got like two minutes and I got to go to the gym again. Um, okay, go ahead. I already been to the gym. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to clear up, like, when you're asking Tanner that question, like, if morality is subjective, then, yeah, I'm telling you, um, if morality is subjective, then who is correct? I was just pointing out that that just assumes realism. That's all I wanted to come up here and okay, point out. If it assumes realism, who is correct? You just did it again. Do you not? Do you not understand? Okay. Okay. If it assumes realism, sure, mm -hmm. it assumes realism. Let's go there, even though I Great. don't believe it does. Who is going to be correct within a society? Who's and ever got more correct money? in an objective or subjective sense? Bro, in any sense, I don't give a fuck if it's objective or subjective. Who is going to be correct? Well, Whoever in has a the Royals Royce. Well, no, I'm not asking you, Greg. Who is going to? It, okay, if I okay, no, 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 Brandon. Let's say you subjectively view murder to be permissible, mm -hmm. and I view murder to be e permissible. It's it should be morally bad, and you say no, murder murder is good. Who mm -hmm. is correct here, and how do we know why? And correct. And you said it doesn't matter about an objective or... Correct sub and incorrect. Who is correct? Yeah, in an objective or subjective sense. Sure. Say objective. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I don't I, I don't subscribe to objective morality or moral realism. I would need an argument for that. Okay, so if, if so is murder objective or subjective? Murder itself? Like killing somebody, ending their life. That is objective. What we ought do in that case, oh, right? Oh, so ending another no, human life subjective. is subjective. Hold on, ending another human life is objective, correct? Um, yes, ending the life, right? Okay. No ending normative, nor no normativity in there, right? Just to be clear. 
All right, ending another human life is objectively to be immoral, correct? <laughs> no, that doesn't follow, right? That's just the naturalistic fallacy. What? Okay, what? Just, just so you know, I do have to end this live in like a couple minutes. I so I just want to let everyone I can, know. What do you yeah, that's fair. I got I, because he actually you, he actually like shout out like he came through. <laughs> bro, so, yeah. what? Okay, what is a Miss Mendoza? It, is this guy making sense? So he said it's objectively immoral like, to end another. Guys, I spent no, I didn't. No, I didn't say. I didn't say objectively Mendoza. immoral. Right? You said is it objective? when you end somebody's life, right? That can be a descriptive, objective fact, right? There's no normativity okay. there. Okay, so Mendoza is it objectively, Hold on, wait, is we it- keep saying Mendoza. Miss okay. Mendoza. Is it objectively wrong to end another human life? I don't know what, ob yes. what do you mean by objectively wrong? Yeah. When we're talking about without, morality. Like, without justification of taking another human life, you aren't you aren't, you aren't like you don't have the right to just take human life. It's subjectively wrong. It's a trick question, guys. You guys are rookies. Well, when you say like when you ask me, is it objectively wrong? Right? I don't know what you like. I know what it means to be wrong in in the sense that I'm Already using the word you. wrong, but I don't know what objective wrong means. And I think you had this conversation Already with Danny. So like Scooter, I like I have a similar you, view to him. Brandon. Yeah. So don't gaslight. I already told you. Wait, what am I gaslighting? Means. Yes. I, okay. Can I he, talk? he is gaslighting. Yes, he is gaslighting me. I already told you what objective. <laughs> no, that's cope. Means. That no, that's just copium, bro. That uh, that is a <laughs> truth that is applied universally. Well, universality, what, what right? An anti real yeah, universality. An anti realist can agree Brandon, with universality. Brandon, I'm gonna make this very clear. I'm gonna talk. Yeah, so just give the argument, ready? right? No, 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 no. And, How about this? Just and, give the argument for objective morality, premise okay. by premise, to the conclusion. Oh Go All ahead. Right, All right, perfect. What's your cash up dialect? All right. Perfect. So slow for Brandon. You cash up in the yeah, li listen, this is just cope. Just like give the first premise. Is Go ahead. Ready, Brandon? You do not have a right. It is to unalive human being. Given abortion is unaliving another human being, it is immoral. Given the truth that it is immoral to unalive another human Given life. the truth that it's immoral? Sense. How is that not just begging the question? Go ahead. Hold on, can you guys hear me? Like, there, it's like skipping for me. Yes, yeah, so. Oh, you would have to just- Dialect Hold on, I, I, hold on, Scooter, I, I, like, I'm not even trolling. I, uh, it's skipping really bad for me. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Life is morally justified. <laughs> 